You that win effect, baby. Let's go. Hey, bring it in, bring it in. Hey, as y'all know, guys, this is the victorious day. Hey, just tapping in like we already expected in past videos we were talking about is coming to fruition. Y'all, as I've been saying, retail, it's time to wake up. We are so much bigger than what is let on. All this sitting around and been pushed around. We have made a difference in things. We have shifted the outcome of this. This right here is what I'm talking about when I say retail has the power to swing plays, right? But hey, y'all, let's tap in this right quick. I want to check in this uh, video I got with Charles. Uh, Charles Payne, and then we're gonna follow back up with basically a overview of what happened with our court case, and or not our court case, but our uh, court uh, court. I mean, what would you even call this? It was just a telecast where they kind of scheduling out what how they were gonna uh, move forward with the court case. But um, guys, we shuffle things up. Everything's proof wishing. Uh, we're gonna kind of go over why I think. Uh, Judge Zern is on our side as far as how this goes. When I say on our side, I think she's just on the side of what's right. But like, let's say, let's tap into this bad boy here. Uh, talking about the uh, financial uh, state of the banks. Uh, first, the public obviously was lying about uh, how what their standings were and what money they had. So they basically all this stuff is coming out now. Shares of First Republic tanking after uh, the earnings report. Uh, they lost 70, over 70 billion in deposits now to 100 billion. The street thought they have 136 billion. And the news is probably everybody. Oh, it's all good. Says, Pile hey, back in the FRC. I want to bring it now. Why y'all playing with it? <laughs> Andreas Steno and Andreas, economy's toast. Just tweeted at me uh, just right now during commercial. Would I be a buyer of First Republic? I'm sure you're getting these kind of calls as well. What are you telling folks when they ask you this? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I mean, I consider First Republic Bank a, a dead man walking, as yeah. you said, simply given the fact that their deposits have been cut in half almost since New Year's. And I can guarantee you there is not a single bank on earth that can withstand a deposit flight for a prolonged period of time. So obviously they are in crisis, crisis mode now. They have announced that they will probably Ooh start selling their trading assets to meet the deposit flight. Um, I mean, they will slowly but surely kill themselves with this strategy. You know, of course, there, there are a couple of issues here, but one that all banks have to are grappling with is the, is the competition, right? And, and it's, I find it so interesting. But the economy's doing all right. That's what you, please, please pause. Jay Powell's like, oh, hell no. We've got to turn it up a notch. Seeing that, it, it oh, this be way more of these. After Silicon Valley Bank, but for almost a year, for a year, we saw almost a trillion dollars come the out of banks. The small banks are in danger. So people were saying, hey, you're giving me 0.02, and I could put it on a money market at 4%. It was a no-brainer for Main Street. How, do, how does any bank, particularly regional banks, push back against something like that? Well, uh, it's an issue for their margins if they try to increase their deposit rates. Uh, so obviously, the... A big competition is now a competition on trust, since uh, you want to park your money uh, at a place where you can trust the uh, deposit facility. Uh, and regional banks, they simply suffer in such an equation relative to large banks. So I guess the overarching theme for banks in the U.S. now, from a stock perspective, is uh, a clear out performance of large cap banks relative to small cap yeah, banks. Yeah. And I think that will continue. I got to be honest, I'm frustrated with Janet Yellen for kind of botching that message and almost saying, suggesting that, hey, Look at that plus, we've got yeah. the back of big banks. $171 uh, to $8.27. Uh, I know you've been bullish cents. and optimistic about U.S. equities, but um, about three, four weeks ago, I, I, I watch your feed every day. It seems like your tone has been changing. 94% on the year. Well, Are you trying I, to tell I me they're okay? liquidity. Um, not as benign as it was just a few weeks <laughs> back. Uh, and the reason is that we are approaching the ultimate deadline for the debt ceiling. Um, and as we approach this deadline, the uh, U.S. Treasury will not be able to push liquidity into the markets as they've done throughout this year. Uh, and when the tide turns on dollar liquidity, just as a consequence of the U.S. Treasury not being able to push liquidity into markets anymore, the tide will likely also turn uh, for U.S. equity markets in general. So from a liquidity... And, and just on a keynote of what this guy is saying in layman's terms, guys, he's basically saying the amount of money is going to push us up all the way through to that debt ceiling and basically eliminate liquidity by liquidity he means free money they were printing to save people and give people free easy cash guys this is why i'm telling you that the short sellers on the other side are battered the news that we're about to go at the end of this video these guys are toaster shoes just with the fact that the free money their ammunition is gone 
Amy, this is dry. Perspective. I think Come on now. Welcome to the Matrix, baby. Mm. You uh, got to get uh, with it. The good old saying, go, um, sell in May and go away, is, is probably a good fit this year again. You got a, a sense of how vulnerable this market could be or where you would want to hide out? I'm actually hiding out in Asia, um, not physically, but in, in stock markets. Uh, the reason being that the economic momentum in Asia is much better than it is in the West right now. Uh, I traveled Asia last week, and the optimism is quite uh, um, remarkable given what, we, um, what we're faced with in the West right now. So uh, I'll hide out in Japanese equities, for example. All right. Andreas, you're one of the best. I appreciate you taking time. Thank you. He did. All right. Thank you. All right, guys, just a, a keynote. I want to bring that in so everybody can kind of see the the full breakdown as far as, you know, there was that talk of where they're like, yeah, well, one, it'll be a pause, uh, a 125 basis in the pause, 125 basis in the pause, and then it's 225 basis in the pause. Guys, they haven't figured out anything. There has not been a resolve for what happened. People are still bank running. These small banks are getting a toasted strudled. There's nobody sitting up there. The trust in markets is gone. Nobody's sitting up there. There, there's a big breakout of of retail investing their own money because people are realizing that you get way more than zero point zero zero one percent doing it by yourself. All right, but now let's bring it on in, guys. Massive news today. Uh, uh just some keynotes to look over. All right, one the court hearing based off of expectation, and by expectation she's saying the minimum right or, or the yeah minimum duration of time it could take is late june uh towards the 29th or 30th now she did eat, uh uh and when i say she i'm talking about judge zern specifically expressed and i quote it will be hard getting this case settled within 60 days so it's one she's basically already telling you that this is going to be long in the 60 days and she said she will not be rushed by either side as far as the people that are trying to settle all right that's one keynote for you to know, guys, all the letters that have been sent on retail where we stepped up and played our part, the petition, the sending the email, blasting through, right? We used on Adam Aaron, it didn't matter because you talked to fraud, but we used this tactic again and, and it hit that courtroom and she knew immediately. There's no way that you can look at this with all these people, all these messages come through about all the fraud, pictures, evidence, things like that. A window of time has now been opened up to submit more evidence. If you got evidence, this is the time to be submitting. If you got screenshots of your money before and after eight, screenshots of eight move, the price move on eight, screenshots of uh, 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 when Adam Aaron said that it wasn't going to cost us anything, when it was a dividend, all that, send all that in, right? But basically, all this stuff that she's got, is taking in can further extend the timeline. Shorts are toasted. The, this was not supposed to go this long. Now you're talking about months out, an unknown number, a uh, 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 no, no date on it. Guys, from what they got, they said there's an estimated 3.8 million investors in AMC. So almost 4 million of us retail in there. Guys, we're much larger, way bigger than what's being let on. They were right there, and this play is way larger than what's being let on. The problem that's happened is... These people have messed around and let this thing slip into court. That's why AA wanted to settle so quickly. Because he didn't want this to actually be opened up. Because if anybody take half a peek of an eye at this, you can see the fraud bustling out the jeans on this one. Let's see here. Uh, 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 got that. Um, and and I, I put another extra keynote up here that I said that Judge Zern seems to be looking extra deep into this, right? And with the appointment of the um uh, uh what's it called uh special master she literally and and i quote said the special master is going to be dealing with the uh letters that are coming in from the investors right and basically being a full representation of those so the the lady that was uh, appointed this main sole job is basically take these letters and read them and and basically get a basis to be able to explain to judge learn to make the argument on behalf right as a special chance so let's say this just escaped up and again you can tell how it, how it escaped up right we got our amc up here back above 517 back in that sweet zone baby guys oh man I don't know if you can feel it, guys, but we up in that thing. Going over to Ape. Obviously, you see Ape drilling back off. I always know 
that we're on the uptrend when AMC is going up and Apes getting drilled down because that means that their arbitrage is not worth it. They're basically saying, oh, oh hell no, we, we don't need to hold this now. It's not worth holding it. If they were up, Ape would have been soaring through. That's when I told you when Ape wasn't doing anything and AMC wasn't doing anything. I said, guys, they don't know what's going on. They're just holding us in a whole pattern. Look at this. Melting up. Stock will track 150,000 shares available at 217%. They've been barring them loose all day, eating them up. 200, 200, 200, 200, 207%. Eating them up. A short percentage, 60%, as always, we always know. They're they never going to report the dark pool percentage because, hey, that, hey that'll that be checkmate. But we already might have them in checkmate now with this situation that's coming up right here. All right, let's see here. The funny, here's another keynote while we're looking over this, guys. Uh, shortage is at 26.62%. I want to see 27. Just give me those goosebumps. But still at 10.93 days, about to be 11 days to cover on, uh, to cover on short interest. We're still climbing. Short interest is holding. Days of the cover is going up, guys. This just got out of control. But I put up here, I said, the and this was talking about especially uh, a special master, which is basically dealing with strictly the vast amount of letters that retails express the majority. Uh, and, and, th and she said that, uh, and this is the special master, that's dealing with the majority of the, the letters who disagree with the settlement conversion. I said, this is just another keynote to the judge to say, wait, you say the majority voted yes on this. Well, how is the majority voting yes if the majority of people, these letters that are coming through are all saying, no, we didn't want this. Look at all this stuff that's laying out in front of them, just ripping open. Look at the fraud just falling out of it, wide open in front of this judge's face. And like I said, she doesn't seem like the type of judge to just fold over. And I think everybody's noticing that, y'all. If you were able to get into the call, you notice she didn't come in with no, all right, let's get this done. She came in on some, hey, by the way, you're not going to rush me. We're going to take as much time as I need to. We got to, the fact that she appointed a special master let you know already, wait a minute, she got him to Oh, no, we need somebody to read over this. We need somebody to see what the, the retail is talking about here. Guys, if y'all don't go get y'all a drink this weekend, a beer this weekend, and like I said, we all knew all this news, but this is where we got a finally understanding of which way we're going. We're not sitting in Wayland, and, and that's why you're seeing the price moving up because now that whole pro thought process with it, all right, well, we got them. Oh, no, this just became clearly evident to short sellers that, hey, there's a big problem. Y'all aren't probably going to get the conversion because now the way that Miss Zern is going at this, guys, we might win this whole thing. This whole thing might be called off. You might as well. Hey, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. Does anybody have the number to the Instagram models from Miami? Hello? Hello? Hey, listen. Hey, hey, all jokes say hey, we still going to be financially responsible. Like I said, we got plays and plays and plays at the hit after this regardless. But guys. We are moving the right trajectory. Let's not get overhyped. Like I said, we're just moving by what the facts are. But, hey, <laughs> hey this is what we wanted. Hey, this we went into a tournament. We're going left and right with them. We done, they messed around and took it too far. They took it too far. What's that scale? The more you fuck around, the more you find out. They went too far on that scale. You brought it into the courtroom of somebody who seems to follow the law as a judge. Oh, no, this is about to get out of control. And at first, everybody was like, oh, she can't do this and that. I was sitting up and saying, hey, y'all, sign the petition. We're going to slap. You better try. And look, retail has shifted this. Guys, we are changed. We changed that outcome. Stand up, somebody. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Hey, listen. I wear a size uh, 11 in shoes. If anybody wants to buy me a golden pair of J's or something, hey, y'all got me, all right? Listen, hey, hey, don't worry, it's coming. You're going to have your cash for it. Listen, hey, guys, hold it down. We got more coming. Hey, hey, take a breather, relax. Guys, listen, much support for, listen, all the support. Thank you so much. Hey, listen, I love y'all boys. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the comments. Hey, listen. Hey, we running up. I'm glad that y'all are joining. It. Like I said, we're going to come with more and more bangers. Like I said, we sliding through. This is the beginning of a retail saga. I'm going to keep saying it. In that thing, I'll make sure you picking up at least some Tesla, XRP, NVIDIA, HBAR. Get down in there, guys. There's a coupon for you. Get discount on what I use uh, for one of my wallets. It's the Ballot Cold Store wallet. 
Use that bad boy. That'll get you started off. That's a the beginner's hub of getting into crypto if you don't, if you haven't already. Y'all need to get into it. This is the time of generational wealth transfer. I need all y'all there because like I said, we can keep this going on forever if everybody's learning, moving forward, and then progressing, right? Hey. Ooh. Hey. Y'all hold it down, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs>